Hey fam, Alexa Rains here. So since we just finished the season one of Golden Girls, um, I was suggested in the comments to tell you guys my top five episodes of this season. So I figured let's do that for every season, why not? So in this video, I'll be um, highlighting my top five episodes as well as showing you a couple of clips of my reaction. So enjoy. I was in the teacher's lounge talking to a group of girls in their 20s. Oh, they were so pretty. At that age, you don't even have to be pretty and you're pretty. <laughs> anyway, we were laughing and giggling and having a great time, and I completely forgot that I was older. You know, I just felt like one of the girls, and we had a wonderful time. And then I got into my car and caught a glimpse of myself, and I almost had a attack. This old woman was in the mirror. I didn't even recognize her. Who was it? <laughs> oh, Rose. Blanche needs a man. She told me when George died, she made a date at the funeral. Well, not that she didn't love George. She can't be without a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What am I doing up? <laughs> I'm subbing for a teacher who was shot by a student. I need all the sleep what? I can get. I used to sleep so well, I never even turned over. I'd wake up with a perfect hairdo. <laughs> Charlie, on the other hand, moves all night long. His side of the bed looks like a murder took place. Rose, Charlie is dead. Why tell me? <laughs> Coco, it's 15 years. I know he's dead. I'm not crazy. I just like to talk about him in the present tense sometimes. I got married before my father finished the sentence. <laughs> you married your father? Oi. <laughs> my father told Stan that he had to marry me. I was pregnant. You had a blowgun wedding? <laughs> it's shotgun. If you live in the Amazon. In Queens, it's called shotgun. <laughs> well, maybe that's why he left, because you forced him into it. Rose, he left me 38 years later for a stewardess that he met on a business trip to Hawaii. It was her first flight. They said on arrival, give the passengers a lay. She got confused. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. He got lucky, and they now live on Maui. Oh, wow. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm suspicious. Of? Of what? Harry. Harry? And I don't know why. There's just something about it I don't like. Mm. And I have to tell Blanche. Tell Blanche what? That she can't marry him. But she wants the to. The is in 12 minutes. You can't tell her that. I owe it to her. I'm her friend. But there's nothing to tell her. This is just some crazy hunch. My hunches are never wrong. Mrs. Gandhi would be alive today if she had taken my call. <laughs> I'm going to tell her. You are not. I will not I let can't you. Stop crying. Oh. I'm so happy. Okay, I was like, sad. I was like, is it is it happy cry? Sad. Oh. Speaking of sad, Shut Blanche, up, Rose. <laughs> she's crying already. What's the deal? <laughs> What's the deal? Pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. Oh, fetch. mistake to wear all that makeup <laughs> i know it's fast but i just don't know when i'll find another like him he just oh girls girls he makes me feel so good so young so happy oh rose did you hear that <laughs> so happy <laughs> rose that is a happy woman in there now i want you to promise that you will not say anything do you promise do you promise? <laughs> Are you sure? But what's got me so sad? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I just... She looks so angry. I just never, never had two better friends. I just can't stand the thought of leaving you. <laughs> 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 
Does anyone know where the aspirin is? Buffered, time release, or synthetic? <laughs> time release, I guess. Capsule, tablet, or liquid? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Don't take the one with the childproof cap. You could die before you get the bottle open. <laughs> Oh, just a little achy, that's all. Achy? What kind of achy? Head achy? Stomach achy? Back achy? What achy? <laughs> Relax, it's probably just a little cold. Should be all right. Yes, but I won't. I hear a story about somebody catching a cold, and I get one. I am very susceptible. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, honey. I never get sick. I take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Yeah, open to everyone, day or night. <laughs> Oh, Sophia! <laughs> oh, shiznit. Everybody is sick. Oh, oh. Isn't it amazing how I can feel so bad and still look so good? <laughs> I can't believe it! Finny Battagli, the biggest jerk I know, just turned down my invitation to the charity banquet. Ma, if he's such a big jerk, why'd you ask him in the first place? Because he's the only guy my age who doesn't weigh his pants up to his chin. Well, I have a fever, and my throat is sore, and my stomach is upset, and I keep having this recurring dream where I'm being chased by a giant Listerine bottle. <laughs> and when I open my mouth to scream, all I can do is gargle. Except in my dream, I'm chased by a bottle of scope. <laughs> well, ladies, the flu is going around, and I'm afraid you've all got it. Oh. I told them that two days ago. Tell them something new for $50. <laughs> Dartha, where's my heating pad? How should I know? Well, if this isn't it, I'd like to know what other electrical appliance you're using under that blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for another world. You can't watch another world. And why not? Because you watched it yesterday. That's exactly why I have to watch it today, Dorothy, to find out what happens. That's why they always say stay tuned for the continuing story of another world. <laughs> Too bad, Blanche. Today it's my turn to choose, and we are not watching another world. Do we have any orange juice left? <laughs> Dorothy. Oh, oh, honey, I didn't mean that. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just this flu is making me crazy. Oh, it's gotten to all of us. Do you know that we have been at each other's throats for two days? I've been the worst. I hope you two can forgive me. Oh, girls, oh. let's make a pact. Let's promise we're going to help each other get through this mess. We're having a group hug. <laughs> well, knock it off. The neighbors will get the wrong idea. <laughs> I, I would like to thank you all for choosing me to be the best friend of the year. I'm a very lucky woman. Not only do I have a lot of friends in this community, but I have a lot of good friends at home. When you're lucky enough to find that kind of friendship, I, I guess you just want to pass it on. Oh, Sophia. Ooh, Rose is getting some. Good morning. Ooh, look how Boy, smiley she is. That was some dream you were having last night. What are you talking about? I never heard such a rocket. <laughs> I thought you were making love. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. No, it, it was a nightmare, an, an awful nightmare, just terrible. You're making love, you don't make noise? No. How can you not? Well, I guess I always felt it wasn't very ladylike. Do you talk? I've always wanted to, but at that point, it seems that nobody is ever interested in conversation. <laughs> <laughs> not conversation. I mean... Dirty talk. Dirty talk. Yes. <laughs> Morning, Sophia. Morning, Mom. Morning, Sophia. Morning. Dirty talk. <laughs> she's just it's looking at Blanche. <laughs> Sorry, Rose. She can, she's looking at Rose. <laughs> Sophia, there's not. Why, you devil, you. So that was what we are, Rose. <laughs> Rose got lucky. Not yes, so she lucky. did. The man in your bed is dead. <gasps> She killed another one? He's dead. 
He's shy. He's very shy. Didn't sound so shy last night. <laughs> okay, fine. Let a dead guy lie. That's gonna be 98 degrees today. It won't be pretty. Go check. Is he dead oh, for I'm real? I'm sure he's not dead. Rose, go look. Please. Oh, Dorothy, he's sleeping. I don't want to wake him. You could light firecrackers in his nostrils. You won't wake him. <laughs> No, I can't go in there. I have a thing against dead people. I've never seen one I never intend to. <laughs> Didn't you see your husband when he was dead? Oh, no, I cannot look at dead people. That's why I don't even watch the news. Every now and then they sneak a corpse in on you. <laughs> you could be watching a perfectly lovely little story about Central America. All of a sudden, bam, a dead body. This is ridiculous. I'll go. She's very brave. Boy, I'll say. I want someone to come with me. <laughs> go i'm from sicily what's the big deal <laughs> what do we do well, we call the police i didn't murder him of course you didn't murder him honey he probably had a heart attack now look his family has to be notified now did he ever speak of any family he had the sister he lives with yeah what's her name his name was al Beatty. her name's Beatty too she never married the night George died, my telephone rang and a highway patrolman said, pardon me, ma'am, do you have a yellow convertible and a husband named George? Put me on hold with that music while you wait. <laughs> and then after an eternity, he comes back on the line eating chips. And he says, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm the only one here. My phone's been ringing off the hook. I said, officer, what about my husband? And then he said, crunching his chips. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Wrong way, driver. Hit him head on. Totally dead, ma'am. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> I never eat chips. I don't like them. <laughs> they fall in my bra. <laughs> oh, my God, what'll I say to her? That he died in the bed of an idiot. My. <laughs> you tell the truth. Well, I can't tell her the truth. I can't tell her where he died. He died visiting. That's what you tell her. Visiting. Right. Visiting. That's good. <clears throat> Hello? Is this Miss Beatty? Wrong number. Right number. Wrong person. W what do you mean? That wasn't his sister. That was his wife. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I know exactly what you're going through. I can read it in your face. You can. Oh, sure. Your husband or your boyfriend dumped you. Oh, honey, don't let it get you down. It's just the nature of the beast. They'd do it in the mud if they had to. <laughs> you just go sleep with his best friend. That'll even up the score. <laughs> Am I on candid camera? <laughs> I like you. And I like cats. I also happen to have a room for rent, and the name is Blanche Devereaux. Why would you name a room Blanche Devereaux? <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. I like a roommate with a sense of humor. <laughs> My last two roommates were two old sticks in the mud from Minnesota. Oh. Tell me uh, a little about yourself. Well, my name is Rose Nyland, and I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> Stop it, girl. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, but I'm not a stick in the mud. Oh, listen, I can let my hair down and get crazy with the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I think I better keep looking. Oh, I, I'll stop eating raw cookie dough. No, honey, that's not it. It's just the two of us have nothing in common. We're just two different kinds of people. It wouldn't work out, believe me. Can I pet your cat, lady? Well, sure, sweetheart. Would your mommy let you have another kitty? Yeah, she said she would get me one next week. Well, if you'll promise to give him a really, really good home, I'll let you have Mr. Peepers. Great. Would it be okay if I call him Harpo? Well, I don't think he'd mind. Thanks a lot, lady. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Mom! Say, Rose. Um, look, now, I'm not making any promises, but how would you like to take a look at that Blanche Devereaux room? Really? I'd love to. Come on, let's go. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Blanche Devereaux. Hi, you must be Dorothy. And you must be Mrs. Rogers. <laughs> no, but...
But we have a Mrs. Rogers at the Grief Center. Oh, and there's a Mrs. Rogers lives across the street. And then, of course, there's Dale Evans, the most famous Mrs. Rogers of them all. Uh, I didn't uh, uh, catch your name. I'm Rose Nyland, your new roomie. <laughs> Blanche has told me all about you. Sorry your husband dumped you. <laughs> you can borrow my bubble bath anytime you want. That'll help ease the lonely nights. <laughs> That was one of a kind. Oh, no, well, well, don't feel bad. I'd never really liked it much anyway. It's just that my grandmother gave this to me on her deathbed. Oh. I loved her very, very much. <laughs> Blanche, why don't you just grind the broken pieces in her hand? Listen, since this is our first night as roommates, I'd like to invite the two of you to dinner at my favorite restaurant. Well, that's well, very sweet. Thank you, Rose. Well, then we better hurry, because the oh. strawberry blizzard special at the Dairy Queen only lasts till five. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. Oh, let's not drive. Let's skip there. <laughs> you know, before I met you two girls, I was never up this late. Except, of course, during the Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> Of course. I was never a night person either, until I blossomed into young womanhood and realized I was even more devastating by moonlight. <laughs> of course. I will never forget the night I made that discovery. It was during the spring cotillion. I was wearing a long white dress and my first push-up bra. <laughs> and Bobby Buck McAllister and I were enjoying a glass of punch out on the veranda when a beam of moonlight hit my cleavage. <laughs> Suddenly, the band began to play. It was at that moment I realized my bosoms had the power to make music. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I love her. The three of us just can't agree on anything. I mean, it is obvious we were not meant to live together. I hate to agree with you, but I think you're right. I think so, too. In fact, I know so. This is exactly what happened during the Great Herring War. <laughs> the Great Herring War? Yes, between the Lindstroms and the Johansons. Oh, that Great Herring War. <laughs> the two families controlled the most fertile herring waters off the coast of Norway, so naturally it seemed like it would be in their best interest to band together. The Johansons wanted to pickle the herring, and the Lindstroms wanted to train them for the circus. Jeez. <laughs> Weren't they kind of hard to see riding on the elephants? Oh, not that kind of circus. It, a herring circus. Sort of like SeaWorld. Uh -huh. Only smaller. Tell me, Rose, um... <laughs> Did they ever shoot a herring out of a cannon? <laughs> what just happened. Well, I know I've been having a very good time and there wasn't even a man in the room. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it was just a fluke or do you think we could learn to like each other? Well, I, I think it might take time, but, but I think it could be worth it. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Great! I'm gay. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Stan. Dorothy, hello. You look fantastic. Please, please, Stan. No <laughs> hugging, no kissing. Let's just do it and get it over with. Sounds like the last few years of our marriage. Jeez. <laughs> I wish it was that good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wasn't that bad. No, you're right. The important thing is that it's over. Come on in. <laughs> so, did you bring the bimbo? <laughs> Chrissy's back in Maui. I um, just came to sell a piece of property that Dorothy and I bought when we were in Miami on our honeymoon. Oh, come on, babe. I thought everything was agreed. Well, I, babe? I supposed to be signed in front of a notary public. And don't call me babe. Why did I ever marry that man? Because he knocked you up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good reason, I mean. It's a 
as good as any. <laughs> Why did I ever let that happen? Because he got you drunk. <laughs> Why am I even discussing this with you? <laughs> Eats the hell out of me. Oh, I love them so much. Is he she missing her? <laughs> oh. Chrissy left me for younger men. <laughs> younger than Chrissy? Where did she meet him, Camp Snoopy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Karma is a biatch. What the hell? You deserve to gloat a little. I deserve to gloat a lot. A lot. She told me she thought we were no longer sexually compatible. Well, she didn't say it exactly in those words. Of course not. Those words have more than one syllable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say you're taking it fairly well. It's a fun. Yeah. <laughs> You sure you're not going to say I told you so? You're a good person, Dorothy. Morning. <laughs> Sir, why, why are you in her room? You didn't recognize me without my toupee. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, do you mind if I use a phone? You already Wait. used my daughter. He didn't ask for my permission. <laughs> this is so oh! moving her. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Okay, I know what it looks like. And frankly, that's exactly what it is. You had to bring him home. You couldn't find a drunken sailor on a street corner. <laughs> Believe me, Chrissy left him. He was devastated. Next thing I knew, I was holding him, he was crying, we were in bed, it was just as it always had been. Well, I'm shocked. I was too. You know, Chrissy didn't teach him a thing. And you know what else I don't understand? I don't understand how two people who go off to a business meeting end up in bed together. And you know what else I don't understand? <laughs> understand why you didn't tell him this morning exactly how you felt is that it rose i mean are you finished or is there something else that you don't understand <laughs> well actually there is i don't understand how a thermos keeps things both hot and cold <laughs> she's so cute oh i wish there was some gentle way to tell him oh take it from me honey there is no gentle way to end it with a man when you're gentle with them they just don't get the message Oh, Blanche, you're so right, Dorothy. That was exactly the problem I had with Eddie Parker. That's where I first met Eddie, the aqua midget. <laughs> he was a blue midget. <laughs> Jump off a stepladder into this gigantic punch bowl. <laughs> of course, I didn't realize it, but he, he was falling for me. Didn't have far to fall. <laughs> it's it started with little things. I bet. <laughs> Stop it! I tried to let him down gently. You tried to make it short and sweet. <laughs> <coughs> they are killing me. He just wouldn't take no for an answer. <sighs> So I finally just had to tell him straight out that I, I didn't feel about him the way he felt about me. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and I mean that from the bottom. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, just one of the Donaldson boys trying to sell us a newspaper subscription again. Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Newman. <laughs> oh, no! Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> yes, may I come in? Oh, please, 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 come right in. Oh, Blanche, Blanche, this is Dr. Jonathan Newman. 
Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but Dorothy, he's a little early. Yes, but we're delighted to see him. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, Rose. You're looking lovely this evening. Oh, you. wait a minute. Rose Nyland, you devil, you. I just figured out what's going on here. Blanche. <laughs> oh, no. You were sore at me for inviting your friend without asking you, so you had this guy to come over and teach me a lesson. <laughs> no, he's the friend. <laughs> he's the friend. <laughs> oh, no. I wish I was dead. <laughs> oh, I have never been so embarrassed in my entire life. I made a fool of myself, didn't I? Yes. yes. Well, I feel awful, just awful. Dr. Newman is a guest in our home. If I'm self-conscious, he'll be ill at ease. I can't allow that to happen. It would be unsouthern. <laughs> Shrimp. She's pretty uptight. I'm gonna have fun teasing her tonight. <laughs> Why don't we just start dinner? Oh, good. What are we having? <laughs> Short ribs. <laughs> Small world, isn't it? Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> I did it again. I, I apologize. Please forgive no. me. Now, don't get me wrong. I'd love to know what it feels like to be the center on the Boston Celtics. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with who I am. Oh, God, he gives me goosebumps when he talks like that. <laughs> Why don't I fix us all some coffee? Oh, Blanche, you've done enough. I'll get it. I'll help you. You know, he has the most positive attitude of anyone I have ever met. And he's wearing the cutest little gray suit I think I've ever seen. Oh. You just can't help yourself, can you? <laughs> she cannot. I'm home. Ma, what are you doing here? There was no reason to stay. I thought your grandson's graduation was next week. There isn't going to be a graduation. The big dope failed. <laughs> and he didn't stay? Are you kidding? You wouldn't be surprised if you saw him. 22 years old, and all he did the whole time I was there was drink beer and shoot cans with a BB gun. <laughs> Sophia! Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's face is everything. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, Rose's friend, the Dr. Jonathan Newman. Uh, Dr. Newman, this is my mother, Sophia. Nice to meet you, Sophia. Nice to meet you too. I hope this doesn't sound rude. <laughs> oh no. But I've just gotten back from a long trip, and I'm very tired. If you'll excuse me. Of course. Nice to have met you. Likewise. Dorothy, can I see you for a minute? <laughs> Yes, Ma, what is it? That guy over there, is he a midget? <laughs> yes. Thank God, I thought I was having Ooh. another stroke. <laughs> now, you have to understand that in those days in the South, a lot of things were still taboo. Certain people were not to mix. So, Benjamin and I had to meet in secret. Oh, we knew if any of the bigots in town found out about us, there'd be a terrible scandal. Should I go out with this boy I really cared for? Or should I bow to the pressures of an unjust society? <laughs> so, what did you do? I walked into that gymnasium on Benjamin's arm. Heads turned, jaws dropped. Why, the room was buzzing all evening. I didn't care. I had followed my heart. And it's terrible to think that the... The two of you were almost kept apart just because Benjamin was black. Black? <laughs> Isn't that what he was? Benjamin wasn't black. He was from New Jersey. <laughs> I went to my senior prom with a Yankee. <laughs> That is inc incredible. 
And you think they made a movie about that deadbeat Gandhi? <laughs> well, there's a, a story like this that hasn't been told. <laughs> oh, Family. I can't believe this. I've, I've been agonizing over this relationship, and now you have the nerve oh, to Oh, please think... lower your voice. People are staring at you. Staring at me? They're staring at you. <laughs> well, yes, but I'm used to it. I'm a very snappy dresser. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this has been a difficult relationship for both of us. Oh, it's been a wonderful relationship. I'm going to miss you. Well, I'm going to miss you too, Rose. How was the shrimp? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll never know. <laughs> you see, he's Jewish and we can't see each other anymore. He's like, I don't know what I just walked into. Oh. Golly, that was a good episode.